enjoyed editing literally one video and all of a sudden my ability to talk cohesively and just say the things I needed to say has disappeared. Hi everyone, Rosie here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first reading vlog in quite a while. I think I did a whole bunch of them in March and that was really fun, but it's been a little while, so let's do one. I'm going to be reading Life Ceremony by Sayaka Murata and translated by Jim Ginny Tapley Takamori. I think I'm forgetting this translator's name. It'll be in the description. This is a collection of short stories that is coming out in English at the beginning of July. It's been out in Japanese for quite a while. Murata is the author of Convenience Store Woman and Earthlings, both of which I very much enjoyed, found very interesting. And as I said, this is a new collection of short stories that she's releasing. So I was super keen to read and review it. Now, I am doing a reading vlog because I think it was BookTube with Amy suggested when I did my NetGalley TBR um, haul that Murata would probably be a really good author to do a reading vlog for because things change so often. And I totally agree. And I think short stories make that even better. I am also heavily influenced is influenced by Gemma of Gem of Books, who in a recent poll that I posted in my community tab was really, really hyped for this book. And honestly, even though Transcendent Kingdom won out and I loved that, it was so good. I kind of wanted to read Life Ceremony first. So I am just so excited to be getting to this. And finally, today I finally got around to watching a video from I think the channel name is Chloe Frizzle. I'm gonna make, put a picture over here or something because I might be misremembering that. But I watched one of her reading wrap up, like what I've read recently videos. And she has this really cool system where she uses a D4 dice and rolls it. And that gives her between one and four words to sum up what she has just read. And that sounded so fun. And I thought it'd be a really, really great way to quickly talk about each short story because I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long. I'm not that back into editing. So for the first story, which I think is called, actually I didn't take a note of what it was called. Sorry about that. I rolled a two and that means I have two words to sum this up. Okay, I'm gonna think for a second and come back to you with those. Okay, I've got my words. One of them is kind of cheating, but I'm saying zero to 60 with little dashes so that it's one word. Weird. A lot of us, I think, have been wondering if Life Ceremony was going to go to the full weird levels that Earthlings reached or if it was going to stick more in the based in reality vibe that Convenience Store Woman has. And based on that first story, we're going full weird. I'm excited. I thought it was really interesting. I think I might like it better in this format than I did in Earthlings, but if you really didn't like that aspect of Earthlings, then maybe this won't be for you. Another short story read, another update to give. I think I rolled a two on that first one there. So I need to give a two word description of this story for which I'm going to say, eating insanity. That's not a great description. I would have liked to have more for this one. If you've had issues with eating disorders or things like that in the past. I don't know, maybe be cautious with this one. It was very weird in the style that Murata does so well. It was very, very odd. And also at the same time, disturbingly real and disturbingly based in like, oh yeah, that's sort of just like a satirist's perspective on what's already happening here. Uh, with regards to food and diet and why we choose the things we do and how that all interacts for different people. Back again, that one was super short. I have one word this time and the word I've chosen is mirrored. This story is very much about sexuality from a perspective that we don't often think about it from with two very different situations explored briefly, but very clearly. 
the three words for this short story are bittersweet alternative family. I love Murata's ability to approach the world from new perspectives, whether that is in a completely strange way, like in some of these, or in a really very just rooted in human emotion in the real world, like this one, and yet also really eloquently exploring a different way that life could be lived and presenting an alternative, a possibility of something that could be done and that I'm sure many people are doing, but that isn't sort of the common norm, what we're all trained to think about. Another short one, I'm back again. I only have one word to describe it this time, so it's hard to choose, but I am going with fairy tale. And I mean like original, creepy ass, weird, cursed, horrifying vibe fairy tales. But like, without any narrative structure or explanation or resolution, just like, what's that? The Twilight Place? The Twilight Show? The Twilight Zone? I can't remember right now, but that show, one of those ones where it's just like, here's a fucked up thing that happened, but in a fairy tale vibe. I've spent like five minutes trying to come up with two words to describe this story, and all I have managed is kawaii horror, which does not encompass this story whatsoever. That was very bizarre. You're sensing a theme here, yes. As far as I can tell, Life Ceremony is just as bizarre as Earthlings, but in a way that I think for me works better. I think the short format, just like a, here's a weird idea, here's a weird situation, and then moving on, for me, works better. It's a little more approachable, maybe. It's a little more, okay, that's an interesting idea. I only have one word to describe this story, and I don't even know where to begin. I'm going with all out, which is like technically two words, but like, I don't know, it's got a one word vibe, so I'm allowing it. This story is possibly the most extreme. Mild spoilers for Earthlings coming up. If you would like to skip those, there'll be a timestamp down below. You can just skip to like the next section or whatever. But if you did not like the cannibalism themes in Earthlings, and you did not want to see that taken further, not a great one to pick. This one is heavy on the cannibalism, heavy on the different from our current approach to sexuality and reproduction, and why, like, I, I don't even know how to talk about it. It's just, like, it was interesting. I kind of want to think about all of the things it brought up a lot. All right, I have four words to describe this story, and I'm going with mostly normal, slightly gore. This is a coming of age sort of ish story, but like focused specifically on sexuality and female sexuality. It was really interesting. I really, really enjoyed it. I liked what I'm pretty sure lines up as a cameo from the main character of Earthlings. But, like, yeah, definitely goes from, like, normal teenage stuff to, well, that's intense, back to normal teenage very quickly. And, um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I rolled a two this time, which is perfect, because this story can only be described as unique perspective. I love a story from a different perspective. I love a story from a perspective I haven't read before. And this one was 100% new to me. Love triangle with the weirdest perspective, and um, I'm not gonna tell you anymore. You should just check it out. I should really be rolling a bigger die for these because one to four words is never enough for Murata short stories. But this time around, I have three, so I'm going extremely Murata dysmorphia. Yeah, don't know how else to describe this story other than it feels very much her vibe and very much feels like it is about not feeling comfortable in your body but not in the way that you expect necessarily because as always this is Sayaka Murata and there's going to be something weird here there is I I do not know what to make of the ending of this story in general I thought the character was kind of interesting I thought the 
concept was cool. I feel like this one maybe could have gone into more depth on some of the like theme exploration, but I'm not sure that's what they're about. Like, I think that might be me trying to put things in here and I'm supposed to be the one doing the thinking and theme exploration. Just not always my vibe. For the second last story in this book, I have four words to describe it, and I'm going with surprisingly normal urban foraging. This is, I think, one of the least weird what is going on here type stories in this book. It all very much feels like it is within the bounds of reality and our current society, but still with a lot of the Murata themes about a feeling of disconnect, a feeling like something isn't quite... I th what's the word? Like, yeah, disconnect, a sense of isolation, a sense of disconnect from how humans should live, and also a sense of disconnect between the protagonist and the society around her. If those are themes that you like, whether that's in a food way, sexual way, just in a general society way, I think you might like Murata's writing. Last chapter, I have finished all of the stories in Life Ceremony. For this one, I'm going with super relatable social personalities. Again, it's hard to talk about short stories sometimes because like, I want to get into all the stuff that this is about, but also I don't want to spoil it all for you because I think you should read it yourself as well and it was really good. This is another one of Murata's more... This character feels to me like they're living in the real world. This feels like a real person in our current world as opposed to some of her other stories which feel like this is our world but bizarro. Uh, and the social stuff in this one was super relatable. I'm not sure if everyone will feel that way. Maybe other people don't interact with the world in the same way. Almost certainly that's the case. But for me, this story felt like a slightly more exaggerated version of something that I feel and that I notice. And it was really interesting to see it so clearly depicted in a short space and just be about that. It's a kind of sad story. I don't think I love the end. I feel like the end is quite sad and I don't like what happens for the character, I don't think, but it's still a fascinating exploration and a really great note to end the collection on. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up the video now because I don't know when this is gonna go out, but I'd like to just finish filming it. After I read Earthlings back in, what was that, April maybe? I said that I liked the book, but it wasn't the right time for me. And I think, I feel sort of similarly for Life Ceremony. Really interesting, great collection of short stories. There's cohesive themes that carry through the whole collection, while each story also has its own very unique feel. And because this is Murata, you never really know where any individual short story is going. It could be completely mundane character stuff, or what did I just read? And the themes will be the same, which I find so cool. I think that is so well done. I think this book would be really cool to read with a group. I think this would be a really fun like book club or group read or buddy read book. Just sort of maybe chatting after every story or something and having a discussion with someone who is also reading it and like you're not spoiling things for someone. That's sort of what I was trying to do with this vlog is touch in after each story and have a little chat. but. It's hard when you guys haven't read it yet, probably, or very few of you will have. So make sure you go read it, then let's talk about it, because this is cool, and I feel like I would have gotten so much more out of it with more discussion. I need to go get ready for work now. Let me know down below, are you guys a fan of Sayaka Murata, and are you planning on picking up Life Ceremony, which comes out, I think, at the beginning of July? So if this sounds interesting, if you liked your previous books, Keep an eye out, this is coming out really soon, and you might want to pick it up, because it was really good, it was really cool, I just, yeah, would have liked to talk about it more. If you liked this video, make sure you hit like down below, if you would like to see more of my videos, make sure you hit subscribe, and thank you for watching!